A long time ago, in a place not too far from here, there lived a beautiful young lady named Cinderella. Cinderella was beautiful inside and out. Everyone who knew her loved her. Well, almost everyone. Cinderella lived with her stepmother and stepsisters, and they didn't like Cinderella at all. They were jealous of her and treated her very poorly. They made Cinderella do all the work around the house and gave her only ragged old clothes to wear. But all that was about to change. In the castle near Cinderella's home lived a good and kind prince who wanted to find a wife. The prince invited all the ladies of the land to a ball where he might get to know them. Cinderella desperately wanted to go, but her stepsisters would never allow it. As they left for the ball, she fell to the ground and cried. But then Cinderella heard a loud thump, looked up, and discovered a fairy godmother standing over her. Get up, commanded the fairy godmother. You are a good person, and you deserve a good life. When Cinderella stood up, she was dressed in a beautiful gown. When she ran out the front door, there was a magical pumpkin carriage waiting, which whisked her off to the ball. How exciting! Cinderella was about to meet her prince. From the moment Cinderella entered the ball, to the moment she left the ball. The prince could not take his eyes from her face or turn his ears from her voice. The two talked, laughed, danced, and fell madly in love. Cinderella wanted to dance all night with the prince, but she also knew she must leave the ball by midnight, for her fairy godmother had warned her to do so. As the clock struck twelve, Cinderella remembered the warning and ran from the ball. The prince ran after her, begging her to stay. Cinderella kept running. As she jumped into the carriage, her glass slipper fell from her foot, and the prince ran to grab it. Good thing, since this glass slipper was about to change their lives. Knowing that only his lost princess would fit the glass slipper, the prince went out to search the land for Cinderella. He searched high and low, eventually reaching Cinderella's home. He knew her the minute he saw her. When the prince asked Cinderella if he might place the slipper on her foot, her stepsisters laughed as though he was crazy. Cinderella could never be the lost princess they thought. But she was, and the slipper fit. Having found Cinderella, the prince was overjoyed. He vowed to never lose her again, which he didn't. He vowed to marry her, which he did, and they lived happily ever after. The End